Hello ladies and gentle nerds. Um, this video is in English this time, but uh, for my German audience I will discuss uh, just a few seconds to explain them why I talk English in this video. So uh, yeah, hold on. Ähm, ganz kurz, das Video hier ist äh, einmal in Englisch, äh, weil ähm, ja, ich habe mit äh, Gebes gesprochen oder beziehungsweise mit meiner Sales äh, mit meiner Salesberaterin bei Gebes und die englischsprachigen Zuschauer wissen wohl nicht, wie man hier die Xiaomi Smartwatch auf Englisch einrichtet, ähm, beziehungsweise wie das Ganze auf Android überhaupt funktioniert. Im Video von China Gadgets hat man ja zum Beispiel gesehen, dass das naja, angeblich nicht möglich sein soll, das Ganze äh, mit einem Android-Smartphone äh, einzurichten, geschweige denn, das Ganze auf Englisch einzurichten. Und in meinem kompletten Video auf Deutsch habe ich ja gezeigt, eben, dass es sehr wohl möglich ist. Ich, ich denke mal, bei China Gadgets war einfach das Problem, die haben keine chinesische android wear äh, apk datei gefunden, was ich bei mir im Video schon gefunden habe. Ähm, und deswegen erkläre ich das jetzt für die englischsprachigen Zuschauer nochmal so kurz und knapp, wie das funktioniert, damit ich einfach nochmal das auf englischer Sprache machen kann. Und... Ähm, die sozusagen dieses Video neben das offizielle Tutorial legen können und dann so ein bisschen wenigstens verstehen, was ich hier sage. So, let's go on in English. Um, sorry when um, I sorry when I stock sometimes when I speak English because um, I think most most of the time I find the right words to talk in English, but sometimes I don't find the right words, so I get like um um uh, uh, hold on, you know what I mean, yeah. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, down in the description below, the first link, I put uh, the link from the official uh, review that I made in German language, where I show everything about this Xiaomi smartwatch, where you, uh, like, how I unbox it, how I uh, turn it on the first time, and um, also um, a, t a fully tutorial how I uh, installed the eSIM, like, with my uh, mobile uh, partner, uh, like yeah, how, how you install the eSIM and I also make a fully tutorial how to get it up and running with Android. So most of you guys uh, think that it's not possible at, the, at this moment to get it up and running with Android, but let me say to you, it is really easy to get it up and running with Android. Um, most of the people think it's only possible with iOS, but it's also possible with Android um, and the only thing you need it's two APK files and you need to to um, make two settings you, you need two APK files and you need make you need to make two settings uh, in Android itself so first of all you need um, to get to your settings in Android and uh, search for the unknown sources so you need to enable the unknown sources for for to to install yeah, third-party uh, APK files and uh, if you make this setting you can uh, link uh, you can click the link down in the in description um, where you find uh, my Xiaomi forum and uh, there you see the video and down under the video you s you find two links to two APK files the first link uh, is the Xiaomi Wear APK file. So it's the same APK file like you would find if you uh, go the yeah step-by-step -step, uh, guide from Xiaomi itself where you, where you have to uh, scan the QR code. And if you scan the QR code, you will find the original Xiaomi Wear APK file. So I just copied that um, to my own download so you have everything in place, in one place. yeah. And so you can first download this, install it, and you also need to download the second APK file, which you find down below the first one. It's Android Wear CN APK file. A CN stands for China. So you you need if you if you download the original Android Wear file from the um, original Android Google Play Store, you will download the version from your country. So if you live in, in England, you live uh, you you download the English version. If you live in Germany, you download the German version. But with these APK files, you can't install the Xiaomi smartwatch uh, on Android. It's impossible. You need, and it's really funny, but you need the Chinese version of Android Wear. And uh, it's really funny because in China, yeah, you can't really use Google APK files, but yeah, you need to download the the, the Chinese version of Android Wear uh, APK. So I, I linked it in the description down below in the forum. 
and uh, yeah, you just need to download these two K, these two APK files, and then you install them. So after that, first of all, you need to open Xiaomi Wear um, uh, APK file, and then you you um, yeah you you just go step by step everything which uh, shows in the app. You just go step by step, and. Uh, also, if you if you if you can't read everything in this app, you can uh, also make before you uh, go to the install process, you can go to your settings in Android again, and there you search for language and inputs. So in language and inputs, you put your language from Chinese or from nom normal English or from Germany. You 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 uh, edit this uh, setting and you put in. English India English India because if you put English India in uh, in uh, India the uh, Xiaomi smartwatch is officially uh, on the market and uh, many people in India speak also English so for this India country they also release the India language package on the smartwatch itself so if you uh, put the settings in English India then uh, you can go step by step through the installation guide from Xiaomi Wear APK, and uh, you have every now not everything, but I think eighty or ninety percent of the installation it's in English, so you will understand it. Um, yeah, then you connect it with your smartwatch, and you uh, yeah you go to the installation process uh, where you have to uh, scan the QR code on the smartwatch, and so on and so on. And uh, this will take around six or seven minutes, I would say. After that, um, while the installation guide uh, on uh, one specific part, they will uh, uh, they the, the the app will change automatically from the Xiaomi Wear APK to the uh, Android Wear app, yeah, the Chinese Android Wear app, and there you go on with the installation. Uh, I think there it would take five or six or seven minutes and uh, after the installation is finished it will uh, point directly back to the original Xiaomi Wear uh, app. Yeah and then uh, you can yeah then it's already installed and if you changed your language in your smartphone to English uh, India it's also up and running in English language uh, without any problem and you uh, can uh, change every th uh, setting if you want uh, like if I can show you, if, uh, wait a minute, I can show you, uh, like if I go to the menu, I go to the menu, here you can see it's completely up and running in English without any problem. Yeah, the, the completely menu is in English and uh, also what is really funny, the uh, some words for, for me here in Germany are also in German as well. Um, for example, the notifications, uh, some of the not notifications, because my Facebook, etc. PP, it's also uh, it's all set up in German language. So some of these uh, languages also go through the smartwatch uh, in uh, German, and that's uh, that's really good for me. Um, and I also talked to, to uh, Xiaomi uh, um, for this moment. So if the European version of the Xiaomi Wear APK file and also the um, the Android Wear uh, APK will update with the information from the Xiaomi Watch uh, in inside the APK file. Then it will be no problem to change your smartwatch to your country software and uh, yeah to have it up and running uh, completely in your country. Because the hardware side for Germany, it's uh, for Germany now. Uh, because in Germany you need the LTE band 20 to uh, to get a signal with your smartwatch or with your smartphone in Germany uh, for the fast internet, the 4G or LTE internet. And it's no problem in Germany at the moment to use the eSIM because I already installed the eSIM here inside so if I leave my smartphone back here in the house and I go outside for running or for a walk it, it doesn't matter I can uh, I can phone somebody just with my smartwatch on on the hand it's no problem to call somebody to talk like James Bond with it 
and it's really it's literally literally no problem it's very easy to to get it up and running like this and um yeah i the only the only thing you can't do at the moment is to install apps like from your country like german apps or um english apps for example or you can't use you can't really use the app store from your country you can only use uh, the chinese apps which are already pre-installed um, I also I, I already tried to use Google Maps uh, together with the smartwatch this doesn't work but um, yeah the GPS function on the smartwatch itself already works the NFC um, does work and what's also uh, what also is working like WhatsApp you can't really use WhatsApp on the smartwatch itself but together with the smartwatch uh, to, uh, with the smartphone it's no problem but and you can also answer so if you um text some if you somebody text to you um a message on whatsapp you can receive the message also on the smartwatch and you can also answer the message on uh, your smartwatch and um so you can also change the 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 keyboard from the smartwatch in english and that's really easy um also uh, in the settings, uh, I think I, I already showed it in the German uh, review. Because if you have this video and you you watch this video side by side with my German review of uh, for the smartwatch, uh, then I can think maybe okay, you see okay, this is what he is talking, and on this video you can see the images like you know how to install it, and um, yeah, maybe these two videos together are a good com uh, co combination. Yeah. And this does work also. And also, you can use WeChat. So if you um, if you're normally a WhatsApp user, you can try to download WeChat normally in your uh, app store. And uh, WeChat also works at the moment because WeChat is from China. Uh, WeChat is already completely running with your smartwatch. So if you install WeChat, uh, you can also leave your smartphone back at home and go to for a walk or st stuff like this. If you have an eSIM installed. You can use WeChat completely without any smartphone, just with your smartwatch, to to um, to answer here uh, with everything and to talk uh, with people. It's no problem. And WeChat is also a very nice application. Um, it's like a combination of WhatsApp, like Facebook, Instagram, like all these uh, social media uh, stuff in one app. And I I really like WeChat. So, uh, yeah, try to use WeChat um, and for, uh, yeah, you can use uh, the Xiaomi smartwatch in your country at the moment without any problem. If you if you speak English, it's no problem at all. And uh, for all the German speaking uh, uh, people, it's also no problem because most of them can read English and most of the um, English words like menu or stuff like this, it's also in German the same language. Um, or setting the most of the Germans uh, use the word settings um, and it's English but they understand it you know what I mean yeah so my English is not the best one but um, I think uh, I explained it very well for most of you guys and uh, at this point hi at the Gearbest team uh, if uh, one of the uh, yeah English speaking uh, people from from Gearbest watch this video now. Um, best greetings to Xiaomin from the German team. Uh, I I really like her. She's for me. She's the best uh, uh, sales uh, partner. And uh, yeah, I really have to thank uh, her and I really have to thank Gearbest for all the support uh, that uh, Gearbest give me in uh, the last two years. And uh, also thank you. Last year, you know, I was uh, in the Gearbest office with my wife together. It was very nice and funny. And uh, maybe one day we will uh, yeah, visit you again in the office. And uh, so, now I uh, explained it all to you how you can install the Xiaomi Watch in English. It's really no problem. Just uh, click down uh, in the description below the link for my Xiaomi forum where you find the link to the two APK files you need for installation and the only two settings you need to make in your Android smartphone is to change the language and to uh, enable the uh, 
yeah, that you can uh, install APK rights from a third party. And yeah, for now I will leave it like this. So um, subscribe and like this video if uh, it was helpful for you. And also uh, please subscribe my main channel Shimmer Media HD. So without the raw uh, in, in the end. And uh, yeah. Best wishes. See you next time.